What's up, man? 16 Gamers, guys. Today, welcome to a Nickel 335 defensive breakdown. Uh, guys, we're going to be showing you how to get some pressure out of the new Nickel 335 odd formation in Man 16. Here's a little look at the pressure uh, that we just got, and we're going to show you today. You see we're going to get that right edge pressure at the quarterback from Jared Allen. He's going to scream at Tony Romo. Uh, it's a three-man blitz, and hopefully you guys really enjoy this one. All right, so first and foremost, let's go over the play breakdown. Okay, so this is from the Nickel 335 odd, and we're going to show you some plays. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're just going to use a basic shotgun formation. I like to use the tray open or or whatever just to kind of show you the pressure. Um, this will work, you know, in game. So, nickel three through five odd. And uh, what we want to do is we want to put our best pass rusher in this right slot here for the for the Bears. It's Jared Allen, uh, but you know, come be other players for other teams. So that's what we're rocking with today. Um, and let's see if we can maybe change some things up. Okay, so now the play comes, uh, there's a couple of plays you can do this from, but the most notable play that I'm, I like to use uh, is the Sam Mike 3 seam, if I, th I think that's what it's called, or the Sam Mike 3 press. Uh, so this is a cover 3 press style of zone blitz, and uh, some adjustments we're going to want to make is going to make this play even better. We're going to have more players to drop a coverage, and the pressure is actually going to come in faster. So first and foremost, I just want to show you, this is how I start to lab. Uh, we come out and we just run the play. And you're going to see that when we run this play, it, it's not all that great. You see, we get some pressure, but it takes a really, really long time. It takes about five seconds to get in. Uh, and we're going to try to make that pressure a little quicker and also send a fewer people. One of the first things we want to do with this play, we come out we want to baseline. The reason we baseline is because we want the play to look the same every single time. The next step is we show blitz. The show blitz look is going to create this gap look where it's going to place these linebackers in the gaps, okay? And then from there, I like to pinch the defensive line. Okay, from that point on, uh, I think that we are good here, and we're going to make our line adjustments. So we're going to quarterback spy this defensive end, and we're going to zone out Pernell McPhee. So you see now we're only sending three guys off this right edge. McPhee's going to go zone out. I like to put him in a flat zone. Sometimes I'll drop him into a hook. Uh, one of the things I really like to do is drop him to a hook, Jefferson into a deep blue, and then Vereen in a flat. There's a lot of adjustments to make, so you may not want to do that. Um, the user control player I like to do is the use of this, this guy, Vereen, here. Uh, and so if we set the play back up the way it looks, this is what it's going to look like. Still have that same shell, and we're going to be using over the middle of the field. <clears throat> now what we should get here is we should get right edge pressure off that right side. Let's see if we get it. And, of course, we got picked up because we didn't do our line adjustments properly. Uh, so one of the things I noticed this year in the game with Blitzing Wise is the crash line down is very important. Even if the blitz angle looks like you don't need to do it, you do need to do it. Uh, so pinch your defensive line, crash them down, spy Jenkins, zone out McPhee, use a Vereen on the left side of the screen, and now you see we're screaming at the quarterback. And we got picked up there. Unfortunately, we didn't get our, our pressure in. One other thing you might do, and this is just to kind of clean it up, and, and what you're seeing here is we got a little a lot of sloppy play. The first two plays we ran through, we've had a lot of sloppy play uh, from the blitzers. And so to clean them up is you want to use more precise blitz angles. And so you may want to just go ahead and blitz your right of screen outside linebacker straight down. Let's see if that helps a little bit. Um, let's see what we got here. And there you see we get the pressure. So you you know to clean up the blitz angle. Let me show you what I mean by that. Um, notice that Allen's blitz angle first is a little slanted in at the quarterback. Okay, that's interesting because uh, it it changes how the play works in terms of the way the line's going to pick it up. So if we leave it like this, we're going to just leave it like this. Just show blitz. You see that he gets picked up and we get that loop pressure. The loop pressure takes a little longer. What we're, what we're trying to accomplish is we're trying to get the offensive line to pick up Foster to try to take two guys to block him and then to get Allen in quick off the edge. So we're going to change this blitzing. We're going to globally blitz the right outside linebacker on the screen. And then we're going to do our line adjustments. And we're going to drop off. And there we, we got picked up because we didn't do our crash line. You see we didn't clean that blitz angle up either. So notice this as well. The defensive line its angles are different. Watch me, I'm going to crash my line down. You see that this angle is going to change just a little bit. That little bit of change is really important. Um, let me show you here. You see there's that crash angle, now I'm going to pinch them. And you see it changes those blitz angles. Okay, so we want to pinch our line. The zone out, I don't know if this will work because the line isn't pinched in. We'll see. And there, yeah, it didn't, the loop didn't come in. But uh, this is a three-man pressure, so it's got a lot of coverage to it, I feel like, um, and that's a good thing. 
but you're going to pinch your line, you're going to crash them down, and then you can do your line adjustments. The crash down feature is important. I was trying to save you guys a couple of adjustments, but it looks like we're going to have to go ahead and do it as is. And there you see the pressure. Um, you know, if it doesn't come off the edge, it'll come through the gap. The way the game works this year, it's hard to get consistent pressure uh, with sending few people. So just a note. Um, just note that and just note it. You know, know that that's okay. Um, there you see we got slid. We got slid over on. And uh, there's a couple of things you can do to alleviate this. Like I said, if you want to guarantee pressure, then this is just guaranteeing your spot. You'll blitz five. Blitzing 3 gives you better coverage, and so that's why I wanted to show Blitzing 3. Here we're not going to do any line adjustments. We're just going to crash them down and pinch them. And you should notice clean pressure. There you see clean pressure at the quarterback. Kind of loops in a little bit. And so that's kind of the idea uh, that I wanted to kind of convey to you guys today. But we'll give you a setup here as well to kind of close out. Um, I just wanted to show you some different looks and show you how I lab with this and, and how the play kind of works. Uh, I think it's important to see the ins and outs of the play. Um, but the idea is that we get this great screen pressure. Now one other thing I haven't tried yet on this play is containing, contain rushing. Contain rushing in this year's game is really effective, especially if they run play action. We'll see if it works even better. And there you see we get a nice rush off that edge. So that may be something you want to do as well. So final setup here, I just want to show you. This is uh, kind of through what going to drug you through some thought processes and now I want to give you the final product, the product we're going to use on the game. What we want to do is we're going to come out in that Sam Mike 3 press. As soon as we come out we're going to base the line, we're going to show blitz, we're going to crash our line down and we're going to pinch them. And I think, are we not show blitz? Oops. Our linebacker's not going into a spot here. We'll see if we can drag him down. And then we're going to contain rush. We're going to quarterback spy Jenkins. Um, you can do that if you want. You don't have to. Um, it, it gives you a quarterback spy on the field. But uh, what you're going to see is you're going to get that nice pressure at the quarterback. Now for a coverage setup of the same blitz, we'll show you this again. So that was kind of a heavier blitzer setup. That's sending five. Here it is sending three. Baseline, show blitz. Crash your line down, pinch them. Contain rush. Zone out McPhee. Bluff Blitz Jenkins gives you better coverage on the field. You're only sending five or three at the quarterback. We're trying to get that pressure in. You see that it gets picked up. So again, it's not always going to work for you, but sometimes it will. The times that it will, it's worth it. It's a coverage version of the same setup. But if we run it enough, you'll see that it probably will come in. We get it set up here, and there you see it comes in the very next play. So that's the coverage setup, and that's the, the base setup. The base setup, let me show you this one more time. Baseline, show blitz, crash line, pinch line down, very quick, and then contain rush, and that's all you do. It's a small, also easier setup, and probably better pressure in the long run. You see you're going to get that nice pressure in. Okay, so that's base setup. Coverage setup, baseline, show blitz, crash line, pinch line down, contain rush, and then you can zone out so you can bluff blitz your nose tackle and then put McPhee I like to put McPhee into a, a flat zone he'll contain Michael Vick or someone like that that'll roll out away from the pressure and there you see the same result so that's a nickel 335 odd some right edge pressure for you I hope you guys appreciated that a little mini scheme you can do from it is you can use the same uh, we'll show you one other play uh, here today and it's the same setup it's just one more option it's a man version of the same pressure. Really like this pressure. I, I think it's really effective and I, I hope you do too. It's probably one of the best pressures I've found as far as consistent goes and and simplicity. We'll show you this one more time. Sam Mike 1. Okay, you see it's a man play. It's a man alternate of the same thing. Show blitz. Pinch your defensive line. Crash them down. Same setup. Contain rush. And you see now we're bringing a man alternate. We're going to get that same pressure at the quarterback. Nice right edge pressure. And there we got a lot of pressure. <laughs> Offensive line had a little trouble with that one. Okay, same adjustment. Show blitz. Crash line, pinch it in. Contain rush. From there we can zone out. So we're going to put McPhee. I like to put, when I'm playing man, uh, I like to put McPhee into a hook zone instead of a flat. And then we'll bluff blitz Jenkins and he'll come into a hook as well. And so we're going to try to really protect that middle of the field. And you see there, we don't get that same pressure. We get some gap heat uh, off a block shed. 
and so it's just you know again it's a coverage setup it is a little weaker as far as consistency goes but it is a little better as far as coverage goes and we'll show you the coverage setup again that time we get the coverage sack in at the quarterback so a little nickel 335 odd mini scheme for you guys if you guys like the video uh, please come to the channel and check out some of my other content there's probably already a new Madden